You know, if I didn't know better, I'd have no reason to assume this wasn't made by Insomniac. But it was actually made by Equin... Equin... Equi, Equinox... Equinox... E... And Check 6. Equinox... E... And Check 6... Now to start a new game, uh, pick our save icon, <laughs> and you know it's gotta be this one. Just fucking this one. Okay, now, now which icon do we want? <gasps> Perfect! It takes that long to load every time, doesn't it? Does it take this long every Ding! fucking time? Wow! Masterful. Then eventually Ripto shows up and oh, hang oh, uh, on a second. Ripto? At the end of Spyro 2, he falls into a lake of lava and incinerates. Spoilers. Uh, uh, excuse me, um, hold on just uh, one single moment. Is that, and this is a rhetorical question, is that Ripto from Ripto's Rampage? The main villain who was burnt alive in fucking lava? Check six. What the hell did they check six times? Check six forgot to check this fucking Ding. game for bugs. Six times. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody follows Bianca and Sparks is found just hanging out in some room. So they go inside the building behind them and find Sparks in no danger and quite honestly disappointed that he's back in this fucking Ding. game. Spark buzzes around for the second time as a segment of dialogue without subtitles. Which seems like a perfectly good waste of 10 seconds to me. What? Oh, hang on a second, tutorial. It's like they tried their damnedest to get it close enough, but it's more like... Oh, hang on, uh, tutorial. And jumping and gliding feel off. It almost feels like you're swimming through jello, not flying in the air. Uh, hang on, tutorial. Nice work, Spyro! Yeah, it's more like they knew what they were going for, but just ended up... <laughs> Hang on, tutorial. You know, I'm starting to realize something. There's tutorials for everything! Every two steps you take, you end up walking somewhat sorta of close to a thing, and then it's like they gotta explain the thing in super detail. And finally, we can start th the game. Okay, now that we've done that, let's... Okay. Gems, yeah, got it. So anyway, let's go over here. Okay, I know how to kill sheep. Fuck Ding. off. So the aim of the game is to collect dragonflies. Oh, come on! Why are there so many tutorials? Even if you had never played a Spyro game before, you wouldn't need the game to hold your hand like this. I was minding my own damn business doing some challenge trying to burn scarecrows or something, and this motherfucking dragon statue interrupted. It's especially fucked Ding. when I'm trying to do a challenge, and Sparks has to stop me and say, Whoa, Spyro, you didn't think I was going to let you walk past this gem worth one fucking Ding. point without me giving you an entire backstory to the previous three games, as well as force you to read Bibles worth of fucking Ding. text? Surely not, Spyro. Ding. Fuck off! I'm trying to blow scarecrows. I'm also starting to notice some major frame rate issues, at least in the PS2 version. Most of the time it's just a low frame rate, but at least if it was just that, I could get used to it. But the frame rate is super inconsistent, jumping from sub 30 FPS to at least 60 at random times. The frame rate drops insane amounts, far too frequently. And I think it may have something to do with all these weird effects and particles they're trying to pull. Look at all the unnecessary fog all over. When you breathe fire, particles just spray everywhere. Look at all this fog. It's no wonder the frame rate jerks harder than I do. Look at all this. Why the hell are the dragonflies even running from you? They're supposed to be on your side, but they're out over there pissing around, making your life more difficult when you're both trying to accomplish the same goal. They're just being kicks. They're shy, and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. 
Okay, well, they're shy. I guess that's why they're going burr, 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 at you. The little fuckers Ding. won't stay still. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Everything's better now. Scared my shitty Ding. fucking asshole? Get back here! Come at me, ninjas! Okay. Rusty! Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree! Okay, it's gonna have to wait, Rusty. Come at me, bro. Ding. Fuck off! I'm trying to fight this guy! Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree! Fuck off! Speaking of gems, they're weird as hell in this game. Sometimes they spawn with no physics, suddenly gaining physics a short time later. Spawning upside down, the yellow gem, normally worth 10 in previous Sparrow games, sometimes is randomly worth 25. Oh, and never mind. Sometimes it's also worth zero too. Fucking zero. What's up with the gems? Sometimes they spawn upside down, and other times they spawn with no physics, all of a sudden gaining physics when they hit the ground. And why is the yellow gem worth 25? It's normally worth 10. Oh wait, that one was worth 10, but now this one's worth 2, and this one's worth 0! What the Ding. fuck is all that about? Or did they just forget to record the actor's lines for the tutorial and say fuck it and slap it in their text only? It's like they forgot to record some of the lines with the voice actors. My favorite effect of all is on the exit portal. Look at that, just beautiful. In Spyro 1 through 3, the portal showed the sky of the level you were about to enter, and a neat effect that made it look like it had depth and actually went somewhere. This looks like an archway of water! At the end of the level, we get this less than amazing portal. Remember the portals in the original games? They made you feel like you were going somewhere. Here, Spyro floats through and slams into the wall on the other side. Crop Circle Country! Crop Circle Country! You know, I actually got an idea how to make this go a little bit quicker. Alley up! And there we go! I did it! I made it to Ripto and I beat him! You can enter the final boss without entering a single level. You need to glitch jump through the first gate. Then you go to this area and perform the air swim glitch we seen earlier. Now, you just swim through the ground where Ripto's portal is, and there you go. You mean I did all this for nothing?